neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Wheeler has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's hit immediately in the backfield. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 28. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start, Ball start. offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. Get to that quickly. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got to change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. Loose football, and it's scooped up by the running back. Stover is back to receive. And this one is a beauty. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Mixon's a kid right now, Herbie, that I think a lot of people didn't know about maybe a month or so ago. Right now, he's starting to climb that ladder as one of the great ones in college football. There's certain points in a guy's career where they have an opportunity to kind of take that next step. And this young man has been able to do that. He's been given the opportunities to make big plays, and he's been able to capitalize. We'll see if that continues today. Are they going to get him the ball? And if they get him the ball, can he continue to make the big plays that this offense has really started to grow accustomed to? From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Play action. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. From their own 45-yard line, third down. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. Terrific execution by the entire offense to make that run work and to get the third down conversion. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. Let's go. Three, nine, five. Three, nine, five. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Yeah, there's not much room there for the ball carrier. The safety did a nice job of stepping up from the secondary and made a good stop before he could get many yards. Second and nine. Ball on the 44-yard line. Here's an opening. He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds around the 24-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, 
You have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. Pearson only gets about a yard there on the draw. That makes it second and ten. give it off here. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Well, it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. First and ten. Ball on the 13. Here he goes. And they'll score. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. A man down, and he's in some pain right now. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a nine-play, 64-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. The score now, 7-0. The Mustangs are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Tailback brought down for a loss. From their own 23-yard line, second down. yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Wants to go long and does. And he makes a catch. And he will score. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. He makes the PAT. The Mustangs lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Hand off to the left. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 32. throws this one away. We played one. We're even at seven in this one.
Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we're dead even. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That makes it fourth and eight. Dixon awaits the snap. He really got a hold of that one. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's tackled at the 40. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. to work and they make the stop at the 40 yard line and that was a nice stretch for the D there yeah they really cranked it up a notch on that series the secondary decided to drop back into coverage here and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to good job by the D it's away and it's a booming punt and he just got stood up right there They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. They'll get him for a loss. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Shoved out of bounds around the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. it up the middle for a nice run. That's a That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Ready, Jack, Jack. Stand right. Stand right. They give to the tailback. Pearson picks up about four yards on the play. first down it's a good surge by the defense they really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first it's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it there was some movement on the line 
false start offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks away, and it sails right on him. No good. You know, for a second there, I thought it might hook back, but it just kept slicing to the right. That's a tough break. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Looks middle, got his back. And down he goes, around the 47-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. down at the 39 around an eight yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback the offense calls a timeout and they've got two remaining he lost the ball it's scooped up by the offense yep and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times down now and they need to get it down to the 37. Okay, we gotta get the stop here, they come out in a five wide set. Yeah. And he tackles him hard at the 33. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Gets it, he's in space. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. He scrambled. He keeps it. That's a great tackle at the one-yard line. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a seven play, 59 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that three turns. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Mixon's struggles continue now, and we're almost at halftime, Kirk. And he just hasn't been able to establish himself as any part of the offense, and right along with him, the offense is struggling and trying to find their identity. Yeah, we all know that football is definitely a team game. It's really not fair to put all this team's performance on just one player. I mean, this guy is the emotional leader of this team. It seems like with him not being involved as much in the offense, it's really starting to affect him just by looking down and watching his body language on the sidelines. And you never want your teammates to see your frustrations like that or your opponent. So let's look, look for this coaching staff to try to talk to him, try to calm him down at halftime. And I think they need to inject a little bit of life to try to affect him and his team if they want to come back and win the second half. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about 
you, you defense wins championships and that's how you win ball games and you see it consistently unfold so if I'm building an offense let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position looking forward to seeing this second half I think there's certainly a want for victory a want and a need for victory some teams need this victory Reese Davis want need got to go get it either way Brad and Kirk are there to deliver And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. You know, sometimes you see defenses play good in stretches. This has been the longest stretch I've seen one defense play in a football game in a long time. Yeah, I think the consistency is the thing that stands out. I think they got off to a great start at halftime. They made a few adjustments, and they've come out and even played better, believe it or not, here in this second half. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. First and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. He fights forward to about the 43. The back gets three on the carry. catch there nice protection a good pass and even a better catch he can ask for much more than that it's first and ten ball on the 50 feeds it to the back he makes it to the 48 yard line down and they need to get it inside the 40. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. The punt goes out of bounds at the four-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. And he's taken down around the seven-yard line. From their own seven yard line. It's second down. Tackle made at the 10 yard line. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Scrambling around. Picks up about nine on the scramble.
It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. carry that one for a few yards you know when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game he makes it to the 35 yard line It's second and ten. Ball on the 35. Here we go. Throw picked off. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From their own 34 yard line, first down. Just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 45. They'll work the left. They go to the left for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. He laterals, and he's tackled at the 48. This is picture-perfect defense by this corner. Great job of providing run support. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds at about the 31. That makes it first and 10. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. Our score here in Dallas. The Unicorn, 14, the Mustangs, 7. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He's at the 20, gains his way to the 13-yard line. This is the eighth play of the drive. Here's the halfback. Got some open field. That makes it second and two. It's the ninth play of the drive. Right, 
He's in for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 66-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. I tell you, you've got to tip your hat to the defense. They played well today. Well, this defense has done everything that's asked to them. They've slowed down the opposing offense. They've created turnovers. They've got pressure on the quarterback. In these last couple drives, they've just played probably the best they've played all game. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. So the tailback gets two yards on the option. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Dixon is the putter. Oh, excellent punt. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Has some daylight. He's at midfield. And they finally push him out at the 43. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. He's knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Pitch right, and taken down for a loss. They tried to get the ball to the outside on the sweep, but the offensive line couldn't get enough lateral movement to keep the defense from stopping him for a loss. It's up, looks long enough, and he hooked it left. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. He wants it all. Finds the freshman. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Slings it right. Rose, complete touchdown. Makes the PAT. <laughs> Tackle.
tackle made at the 42. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over a minute left. He's at the 30. And he's brought down at the 15. I thought it was pretty impressive they were able to stop it. I thought he had enough room to break away from everybody and take it all the way to the house. From the 15-yard line, first down. the middle. The Mustangs using their third and last timeout. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. So it's fourth down. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Mixon seen his name all over the headlines. He's not going to like the headlines tomorrow. No, it just showed up a little bit flat today. And I, I don't know if it's complacency that set in, or he just did not quite look like himself. The entire offense didn't look like themselves. And they're going to have to learn from this and try to move on. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.